Breaking news that's coming in right now. Partho Chatterjee's close aide Arpita has been arrested from Kolkata. Arpita Mukherjee has been charged under PMLA. Enforcement directorate said that searches were conducted in 14 locations. An enforcement directorate's lawyer, in fact, said that the search was done in 14 locations. Documents recovered from Arpita's house show direct link and exchange of money between two parties. So far, two people have been arrested in this uh, ongoing investigation that includes Parthi Chatterjee, TMC Minister and Arpita Mukherjee, his close aide. My colleague Anupam Mishra is now joining me live on this. Anupam, give me more details about this arrest now that the Enforcement Directorate has made. Exactly, follow me. This was uh, only the formality when ED will announce that uh, she, uh, Arpita Mukherjee, will be placed under arrest. So now ED has already, uh, through sources, we are getting that ED has arrested uh, Arpita Mukherjee under Prevention of Money Laundering Act. And we are standing just in front of Arpita Mukherjee's residence. I can show you uh, the central forces deployed just uh, uh, beside the uh, uh, apartment where Arpita Mukherjee is uh, staying, and uh, ED. Uh, is still ongoing. Uh, we have seen uh, a few minutes back that a uh, few more trunks have been uh, brought inside the uh, uh, premises. So uh, it, now it comes that uh, uh, more than 21 trunks have been uh, brought inside the residence to uh, fill the cash which were recovered from Arpita's residence. So the last moment of action is going on here. Uh, the seizure list uh, uh, is being prepared here. Uh, the arrest memo is being prepared here and then she'll be taken out along with the articles and money seized from her residence. Follow me. Right. Anupam, thank you so much for joining us. Indrajit Kundu is also joining me live from, in fact, outside the court premises where Partha Chatterjee is being produced uh, right now as we speak. Uh, Indrajit, what is happening in that matter in the court right now? And also, how is the enforcement directorate likely to proceed now that they've arrested? Arpita Mukherjee as well, something which was imminent, which was anticipated. The process was underway and now they've formally arrested her and charged her under the PMLA. Well, uh, you know, uh, Paulami, uh, the court proceedings have just ended and uh, Partho Chatterjee has been remanded to two days, uh, you know, ED custody. So he will have to be produced before the same court once again on Monday uh, before the PMLA court because, uh, you know, the cases have been registered as far as uh, the uh, Prevention of Money Laundering Act. So clearly both Partho Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee both have been booked under the same provisions. Uh, as we are breaking right now that Arpita Mukherjee has also been shown arrested, so she will be produced before court later. But Partho Chatterjee was produced before court uh, sometime back in Kolkata at the Mangshul Court. And uh, he has now been given two days ED custody. So he will remain in the custody of ED for two days. And then again he will have to be produced before uh, the court on Monday is what we are getting to learn from uh, the Bankshall Court here in Kolkata. In fact, any time now, Partho Chatterjee will be brought out uh, from uh, inside the court and we are waiting for his arrival. And it would be interesting to see what he has to say this time around. Paul. Of course, we'll stay with you over there, Indrajit, because you're expecting Partho Chatterjee to step out of the court premises as well. As we speak, Partho Chatterjee viewers has now been sent into ED custody till Monday. Monday, he will be produced at a PMLA court as well. So he's going to spend two days now in ED custody. Also, Indrajit, how is the TMC reacting to these developments? Because this is no low-key minister. This is a very senior minister considered to be extremely key in Mamata Banerjee's cabinet. And also, as you had reported earlier, it was very surprising to learn that after the arrest, Partha Chatterjee tried to call the West Bengal chief minister, his party boss, Mamata Banerjee, but he was unable to reach her. Well, that's right. You know, we will ask Partha Chatterjee once again, but uh, what we are hearing from Trinamool Congress sources, and in fact, I spoke to a Trinamool Congress leader who was present here, a leader who is also an advocate who was present here at the court premises. I did speak to him off record, and he said uh, that, you know, this is true. Partha Chatterjee has not been able to, uh, you know, speak to Trinamool Congress Supremo Mamata Banerjee. So uh, that uh, is something that uh, the Trinamool Congress sources are telling us. 
and uh, Partho Chatterjee himself has claimed while he was at the hospital uh, this morning. So uh, Partho Chatterjee uh, will be staying and he will be questioned in ED by the ED in their own custody for the next two days. And as I have been reporting since uh, you know morning, and we've seen how this marathon process that uh, that was conducted at Arpita Mukherjee's residence. Now she has also been arrested. So what's going to happen is that Partho Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee will be questioned face to face. That is what the ED wants to do. Precisely why they have taken Partho Chatterjee in remand right now. Uh, what has also happened at this very court is that, you know, since it's the second Saturday, uh, the, uh, we, there wasn't any permanent judge who was sitting here. So there was a temporary judge. So there are two days of, uh, you know, ED remand that has been given by the judge here. So once again, Patru Chatterjee will have to appear before the permanent judge at this court when the court reconvenes on Monday. And then uh, the enforcement directorate might seek further remand, which is most likely to be the case. So, oh, Indrajit, could you tell us what exactly did Partha Chatterjee's advocate tell the court? We believe he said that no money was recovered from my client's residence. So, in that way, Partha Chatterjee is trying to distance himself from Arpita Mukherjee and the seizures and recoveries which have been made from her residence, clearly implicating her. But he's saying it was not recovered from my residence, so I have got nothing to do with this. Well, that's, uh, you know, Polami, that's on expected lines because Partho Chatterjee's counsel, of course, said that no money has been recovered from his premises. When search was conducted at his house, uh, they are trying to distance themselves from Arpita uh, Mukherjee. At the same time, uh, you know, uh, what Speaker of West Bengal Legislative Assembly, uh, Biman Bandhupadhyay, has said that there was no intimation that has come in when he was, uh, you know, when he spoke to the media this morning. No intimation had come in from the enforcement directorate. He said that it was a constitutional lapse because, uh, you know, Partha Chatterjee is a member of the West Bengal Legislative Assembly and the speaker uh, ought to have been intimated uh, by the central agency before uh, initiating any such move to arrest him. That didn't happen is what Viman Bandhubadhyay has claimed. So, uh, you know, these are the things that have been placed before the judge uh, by Partha Chatterjee's uh, uh, lawyers, but uh, clearly he has now been given two days of uh, enforcement directorate custody. He will once again be uh, appearing before court. Uh, he will be reproduced on uh, Monday. We'll have to see what happens then. Indrajit, as we wait, of course, uh, for the police uh, to bring Partha Chatterjee out where you're right now, and so that we can bring those visuals live to our viewers, give everyone a sense of uh, this. Uh, alleged teacher recruitment scam that is being spoken about the SSC and the West Bengal PEB scam. <clears throat> well, you know, this has been going on for some time now and, you know, these allegations are not new. These allegations have had surfaced uh, over the past uh, several uh, years now. In fact, we've seen a lot of protests that have been taking place across West Bengal. Uh, uh, by all those people who were deprived, rightfully deprived, uh, of, uh, the, of, of a government job through the SSC recruitment case. And they have been protesting for a long time. The allegation, of course, is that those undeserving candidates, those who could, did not uh, make the cut in, in the entrance of uh, the SSC recruitment uh, procedure, they were given government jobs. Their names featured on the list of government jobs as school teachers and money was taken in lieu of that favor. So those who actually cracked that examination, they were the ones who have been deprived. In fact, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are telling us, I've been speaking to a lot of people, they're saying that, you know, it's, it's, it is the poor people who have actually suffered in this entire process of irregularity, not just uh, those who have not received a, a government job despite cracking the exam, but even those who have received a government job right now uh, through illegal means by paying up some amount of money and that runs into lakhs, now even their job is under scrutiny. And a lot of jobs, the High Court has ordered that those jobs be returned, be taken away. So, uh, you know, it's not just those who have been initially deprived, but those who actually made, paid the money to get a job, to buy that, uh, you know, seat. Even they now face scrutiny and they will be in a lot of trouble, legal trouble, uh, as far the court's order. So clearly, uh, the SSC recruitment scam has blown up on the face of the Mamata Banerjee government suddenly into this huge, huge controversy. And uh, 
and I, ca I can see uh, some lawyers coming out. They are not, uh, they are not the counsel of uh, any of the any of the sides, but they are basically practicing advocates uh, at the court who were who were there who were there at uh, at the hearing today so these are some of the uh, advocates who were there attending the hearing today and they're just trying to uh, you know brief the media as to what exactly transpired inside the court but as i said what has happened uh, you know polami what happens i'll just try and give you a look of uh, uh, the chief metropolitan magistrate's court uh, if my camera person kiranjit can show you so this is the bankshell court it's, a, it's quite a historic structure actually and this is where a lot of high profile cases come up most often, you know, high-profile crime cases and high-profile cases that come up uh, whenever, whenever uh, there is such a case. And uh, at the Bankshell Court, of course, at the Chief Metropolitan Magistrate's Court, uh, you know, Partha Chatterjee was produced uh, just a short while back. Uh, he was brought here at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And since then, you can see an enormous amount of media presence. You can understand that. It's quite uh, uh, understandable because Partho Chatterjee is a massive, massive personality. He is not just the Secretary General of the Trinamool Congress. He is one of the senior most members of the party who has been with the party since its very inception in 1998. A very close confidant of Mamata Banerjee. Mamata Banerjee herself calls Partho Chatterjee Partho Da. Uh, you know, as an elder. Absolutely, uh, and that makes it even more surprising that he has still not had the opportunity to speak with her. He claims that he tried to call her but couldn't get through. Indrajit, keep an eye on those developments. We'll, of course, come back to you as soon as Partha Chatterjee steps out of the court premises. He has been sent into ED custody for two days. Now, in a massive setback to Mamata Banerjee, her minister Partha Chatterjee has been arrested by the enforcement directorate in an alleged teacher recruitment scam. Partha's aide, Arpita Mukherjee, has also been arrested. India Today exclusively accessed video footage of more than 21 crore rupees cash recovered from Partha's aide, Arpita's residence on Friday during raids by the enforcement directorate. The envelope clearly mentions that the stash of cash was for the Department of Higher education, giving the clearest indication of Partha Chatterjee's alleged involvement in the teacher recruitment scam. The enforcement directorate has also so far recovered foreign currency worth 54 lakh rupees, gold worth 79 lakh rupees and of course 21 crore rupees in cash. Partha Chatterjee was the education minister when the alleged illegal appointments were made. In fact, after arrest and amid the enforcement director heat, BJP mocked the TMC saying, Ye to bas trailer hai, picture abhi baki hai. Meanwhile, in Hooghly, BJP workers clashed with cops in protest against Minister Partha Chatterjee. TMC described the raids as a ploy by the BJP government at the center to harass its political opponents. Aaj Bharat ki manyata vishwa patal par ujagar ho rahi hai. Aur ye is baat ka praman hai ki Bengal mein किस तरीके से जनता के पैसे को भ्रष्टाचार की बलि चढ़ाई जा रही है ये स्वयं जनता पूर्ण रूप से जाने की इसका मुझे पूरा विश्वास इस व्यक्ति के बारे में वहाँ के under PMLA. Now let's listen in to the reactions that have been pouring in since yesterday after this sensational arrest by the enforcement directorate. Teacher recruitment is one of the sacred thing in our system. If somebody is boggling in all this area, this is very unfortunate. Law should take its own course up to the logical end. This is very unfortunate uh, incident in the land of Mahasaraswati. Investigation will be done in the investigation. This is not the case of the case. This is not the case of 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 the case
স্তরে যারা রয়েছেন তারা তাদের বক্তব্য রাখবেন আমাদের বিধানসভার পরিষদীয় মন্ত্রী উনি ছিলেন এখনও পরিষদীয় মন্ত্রী রয়েছেন সেই দিক থেকে নিশ্চয়ই পরিষদীয় মন্ত্রীর অনুপস্থিতিতে যারা পরবর্তী ক্ষেত্রে দায়িত্বে রয়েছেন তারা কাজ করবেন বিধানসভা তো অচল হয়ে যাবে না CR which has been confiscated from the lady's house who is very close to Mr. Parto Chatterjee. He didn't give, go and keep that 21 crores over there. He didn't go and keep the diamonds and ornaments and, you know, hundreds of envelopes having a lot of money inside those envelopes and it is written on top government of West Bengal Education Department. He didn't go and keep those in her house, right? Another lady, another girlfriend of Mr. Patu Chattopadhyay, whose name is Mona Lisa, on whose name we are seeing there are 10 flats. So ED didn't go and keep those flats in her name, right? That is what the BJP is of course saying. The BJP is saying... ये तो बस ट्रेलर है पिक्चर अभी बाकी है दिस इज हाउ द टीएमसी इज ऑफ कोर्स एक्सपीरियंसिंग टर्म ऑल सिंस यस्टरडे आफ्टर वन ऑफ द सीनियर मोस्ट मिनिस्टर्स पार्थ चैटर्जी हैज नाउ बीन अरेस्टेड बाय द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट एंड सेंट इनटू टू डेज कस्टडी ही विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन कोर्ट अगेन ऑन मंडे